Ulysses Conti was born on June 1st, 1975, in the city of Buenos Aires, in a clinic that doesn't exist anymore. He spent the first years of his life in a suburb with his parents and sister. During his childhood, he didn't show any particular interest in music, art, or even school. However, when he was 14, and during a basketball game, he realized that he was able to remember every sound he had heard since the night before, in order from the first one to the last one. At the beginning, this seemed to affect him enough to be alert and quiet for a while. Later on, after a long conversation with his parents, he decided to start studying music. Many years have passed, and it's 2013, in the spring of Buenos Aires. Exactly 10 years ago, an, at the time, unknown composer was releasing his first album. This record, with an octopus on its cover, and whose name and music aroused diverse opinions, seemed to carry within it the gem of what would happen years later. Its successor came out two years later, Pacifico, an album with a naked woman on its censored cover. It contained a strange combination of orchestral and electronic sounds. One afternoon, on his way to the studio, Ulysses' car burst into flames, and some brave passers-by helped the musicians get their instruments out of the vehicle. In 2007, after his first European tours, he released Los Pacientes. This album, produced in Buenos Aires, Paris, and Marseille, is classical and elaborated. Because it was recorded in different cities and studios, many files were lost, and it had to be reassembled piece by piece, like a puzzle, as if some Swiss watchmakers had to rebuild its mechanisms. In 2010, Ulysses produced probably his most acclaimed work yet, Posters Privados. This solo piano album is intimate and clear. It displays some strange multicolor animals on the cover and was recorded in direct takes in one afternoon in Germany. It seems like the composer painted his own self-portrait here. Two years later, Los Acantilados was released. Recorded in a cabin during summer, it was built from soundscapes to contemplate. Days after work was finished, a strong storm swept the cabin, leaving no sign of what had happened there the previous season. Finally, a year later, maybe his strongest bid since the first album came out. Los griegos creen que las estrellas eran pequeños agujeros por donde los dioses escuchaban a los hombres. An acoustic experiment that closes a 10-year cycle, interrupted by a serious illness that left our composer bedbound for several months. Some secret excursions to the sound lab resulted in a strange creature living in an acousmatic dictionary. A sound alphabet that exceeds the codes of normality. Atlas collects, apart from what we consider Ulysses Conti's most prominent recording works, a series of adventures and setbacks that trace the path up into the present. The selected pieces reveal a great sound display that generates musical landscapes and spaces of uncommon beauty these days.
Did Ulysses imagine these sounds when he was a boy? Or did they just show up as he invoked them? Atlas is just a small sample of a long path that shows the sound destination of Ulysses' conflict.